but more things you may need really on the customer premises. And the reason has to do with latency and bandwidth and the ability to get to things very quickly. And in return, you end up using the rest of the cloud for the heavy duty stuff. Uh, I have a packet core from a company called Metaswitch and I have their IMS core. IMS is the component that offers voice. Within a few seconds, you started seeing all these containers get started. The next refresh of this uh, dashboard is going to show you all the, all the containers up and running. So once they reach a, reach a steady state, which is in, a, in about a minute, this packet core is fully functional. And if you actually connected these access points to that and started turning them on, you can actually have data communications out to the internet. And once the IMS core also comes up just like this, you can actually make phone calls end to end. But this is an example where combining an actual scenario, radio technology, EPC technologies, you see the names out there, with the power of Azure. You can have end-to-end -end solutions where you have local control of machines like these. But our robots move through a big metal cage. So you can imagine that that's a challenge from the communication point of view. We're currently using Databox Edge, Azure Sphere, um, over private LTE in, in a fleet of, of robots. The goal in this is to move away from the 900 megahertz radio system that originally brought us to market. But we are communicating to this robot over the, the private cellular network. We're also taking real-time telemetry out of the robot, which is something we couldn't do before. 